Hi, welcome back to the channel. Please remember that while I did work as a dealership master technician for 17 years, I'm currently in no way whatsoever affiliated with any automotive manufacturer. All opinions expressed are my own and any and all trademarks are the property of their respective owners. Today, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace the rear drive shaft on a 2010 Toyota Tundra. You'll need to put the transmission in neutral, otherwise you won't be able to turn the rear drive shaft to unbolt it. I have the battery disconnected, so we'll uh, pop the shift interlock cover off. And then uh, you just need to stick a screwdriver or something in there and uh, shift it into neutral. Okay, hard to do it with one hand while holding the camera with the other and make sure you don't do this with a truck um, on the ground because uh, it's gonna roll away from you so either have the wheels chalked or in my case the truck is in the air already I have the exhaust off on the truck right now but uh, it doesn't matter you don't need to take it off to do the drive shaft uh, it's not in the way in any way remove the two 12 mil head bolts to get this cover off for better access Use a 17 mil socket to get the four nuts off. And you just rotate the drive shaft to get to the rest of them. Do the same with the rear, uh, but you have four bolts here and you have to hold the nut from the back with a 17 mil wrench. It will usually be stuck at the flanges here. You can just use a pry bar and press between uh, the end of the shaft and the flange. Make sure you don't uh, stick it in too far and hit the grease nipple with it. Or the rubber boot there. On the transfer case side, there is a Nice little indent there, and I just use a long punch and give it a couple taps. Now it's uh, disconnected. Uh, when it comes to these uh, two uh, uh, center bearing bolts, I will usually scribe a mark around where the washers are sitting so that I can put it exactly in the same spot. The manual will give you very detailed instructions on how to set the angles correctly and uh, it's pretty involved. But uh, if you don't have any problems and this drive shaft hasn't been removed before, it's safe to assume that it's in a correct position. So when you reinstall it, just line up the washers to those same uh, scribe marks and you're good to go. So now you can remove the bolts using a 14 mil socket. Just be aware that at this point, the drive shaft will want to drop down. Uh, so either support it or have somebody give you a hand. Uh, be aware that some of them have a washer in between the flanges here from factory. So if you do have washers there, don't lose them. You'll need to reinstall them back to get the proper drive shaft angle. And now you can uh, get it out of the vehicle. And just uh, don't let this uh, slip yoke overextend too much so it doesn't pull the boot off one side. Reinstall the drive shaft with all the nuts and bolts. Uh, don't tighten the center support bearing bolts yet. Tighten the eight uh, flange bolts and nuts to 59 foot pounds. Now realign um, the steady bearing to the uh, match marks that you made earlier. As I mentioned before, there is a Pretty involved procedure for measuring the drive shaft angles and, and setting them. But if you had no issues before, then just align it back exactly the way it was 
and tighten the two bolts to 30 foot-pounds. Reinstall the heat shield on the transfer case with the two bolts and tighten to 15 foot-pounds. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more Toyota Tundra videos and uh, check the links below the video for any tools or supplies you may need to complete the uh, job shown in this tutorial. See you next time. Cheers.